Okay, today we're going to be doing a radiator install on a Yamaha Viking. This is a 2014 model. It's going to be a simple install. Uh, first what we're going to do is uh, drain the fluid, unhook the hoses, unhook the overflow tube, and undo these two bolts that are holding this little bracket on to the top radiator mount. Well, once you get that done, you're going to have the fan shroud bolts. Just undo them and set that fan shroud as far back as you can. Um, also, to make this install a little easier, I have turned the driver's side tire, pointing to turn to the left, to make it easier to get out. You don't have to remove the shock or anything like that. I'm going to go ahead and undo my hoses and bolts and we'll be right Okay, I've got all my hoses undone. I've got the fan shroud undone and I've got the top radiator bracket undone. Um, simply just lift that up and slide it right out. Really simple to remove. Um, you're going to want to leave all the hoses, all like the vent tubes and the connections to the fan hooked up. It's a lot easier. Um, just leave the fan where it is. Um, when we go back with it, our radiator is thicker. Um, and it's got to go in on the driver's side. And I'll show you that when I come okay. back. Okay, here's the new radiator. Like I said, it is a lot thicker. Uh, the other one was just under an inch and a quarter thick. This one is two and a quarter inches thick, so it has two rows of one inch tubes. Um, it is also triple passed, meaning that it's gonna come in on the inlet side, come in, got this baffle here. It's gonna come across the top third, down to this other baffle. There's a piping that goes in here, it separates it. So it's gonna come down across the middle third, down and across the bottom third and then up through this tube and back to the motor which is a very good very efficient um, route for the coolant um, a little different we have studs instead of uh, little nuts that go mount to the radiator this makes for a lot stronger um, radiator you don't have that chance of them that joint or that seam breaking loose on the radiator with that fan running and bouncing around. So it, it's a lot stronger with these studs. Another reason you're going to have to go in on the driver's side is we put a drain plug on the bottom driver's side facing the front. As you've known when you pulled it out it was a real pain in the butt to drain the fluid without getting it everywhere except for in your drain bucket. So that is why you're going to have to go in on the driver's side. So with that being said, we'll go ahead and go in with this. It's a little tighter but you can do it without pulling anything out. He says you want to get a slide that fan shroud back as far as you can and just walk it in there. You don't want to push, shove, or anything like that. You don't want to bend any of your fins or um, bend a bracket or break anything.
Okay, as you see, it can fit in there without doing a whole lot of work. Now you got to do is just get the pins lined up to the bottom bushings. Make sure you got them in just right before you shove it down. And there, it's in. Next, you take your bracket. Slide it over the pins on top, mounts just like the old one did, fits right in the stock location, and put your bolts in. Now you can go ahead and mount your fan shroud. Instead of using the bolts that came off with it, you're just going to use the uh, nuts, the flat washers, and the lock washers that are that came mounted on these studs. Simply wind that up. So just put your flat washer on first, lock washer, then your nut. Go ahead and put them all on. Tighten them up snug. Don't over tighten because you'll end up breaking the plastic. You just want to make them snug to where they're not going to back off. Then you can go ahead and hook up the hoses which are in the stock location. Overflow tube and the other outlet hose. And from there you can go ahead and fill it up with fluid. Run it. Get it warm. After it's stopped and cooled, pull the radiator cap off. Make sure that you're topped off. Make sure that you got all the air bubbles out. And after that, you can enjoy your ride without overheating. Thank you for watching.